Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the full moon that's occurring on April 23rd or 24th, depending on where you live in the world. We're going to take a look at each life path number and how these energies could influence your uh, path. So before we get into that, of course, this is a general reading. If you would like a personalized forecast or reading, please book some time with me. My information is in the description box below. I would love to work with you. All right, let's take a look at each life path number. Life path 336. Well, I am loving this energy for you all. I have to tell you, all of the master numbers with this illumination are just uh, have just such beautiful energy that you all are working with for this for this full moon. I'm loving it. So 33. So you're going to be working with 41.5 energy, and I would say this is you know love is in the air here. Um, doesn't have to be romantic, but there's a high possibility that it will be for those of you. Um, that it's meant to be, right? So I would say with this energy, because you're strongly working with the energy of the five, that change is on the horizon, some kind of shift, some kind of change. Now, what's interesting is, of course, we've got a full moon here. So there's, you know, full moons typically indicate some kind of completion, ending, culmination, things coming to fruition, right? And through that process, it opens the doors for the next chapter, right? Something new to come in uh, around the new moon, right? So for you all, there's likely going to be some kind of change in conditions that will, that, you know, might feel a little uh, challenging at first, but I would say will likely bring new opportunities, especially in love, for those of you looking, but uh, for those of you not looking, it can still bring in opportunities for love. It doesn't have to be with a romantic partner. It can be with friendships. It can be with a new pet. It can be just self-love. It can be all of the things, right? So, but this, whatever kind of comes in around this full moon and is asking for, uh, I wouldn't even say asking for things to shift or change. I think that there's some divine action here taking place where there will be some kind of shift or change in your experience that will open you up to new experiences, especially and new experiences and new opportunities, especially uh, in the love department and abundance also, right? So you might see some things come in. I would say anything Venusian. So anything that, you know, we value, anything beautiful, anything financial, um, any of the things, abundance. So you could see big shifts in these areas of love and abundance. And yeah, it can be incredibly beautiful and new opportunities for that, right? So you might get an opportunity to uh, work with someone or get a promotion or get, you know, like sometimes in companies, um, someone leaves and, you know, they, they notice that how great a job you're doing. And so you get, you get, uh, the nod to get the promotion, um, or at least apply for it. Right. So big opportunities potentially coming in around this full moon. I would say also, you know, these are some things that could be initiated at this time over the next couple of weeks from the day of this full moon. Um, but it might be six months until you see this all kind of come to, to completion, well, not completion, but fruition, right? Um, And I say that because we're still in eclipse season. And so there's a stronger storyline that's taking place here uh, because of these eclipses that's like over the the next six months to a year. And so it's very possible that you'll get a really good idea of what's coming in for you around this time, but it might be something that's tied to that eclipse storyline that's going to take some time to unfold. So be patient, but beautiful vibes around love and abundance for you all. Very Venusian. Um, This is definitely one of those times where for some, you know, it's like you're walking down the street, you run into someone and it happens to be the love of your life. And so, you know, it's that kind of energy or, um, you know, you're walking by a pet store and you walk in the store. I don't want to say a pet store, a pet store that does adoptions, right? (laughs) That rescues. Um, And they, uh, and you see the love of your life in the form of a puppy, right? And so you adopt the puppy. Um, so you just never know. And so I would say just not nothing forced, but just be open to, you know, that little, um, be open to the synchronicities. Let's put it that way. The serendipity. Uh, for those of you that are in an existing relationship, and again, this can be friendships or family or whatever, 
and as well as like a relationship with yourself, um, these areas of your life can be much more strengthened at this time and you can find much more joy and happiness in that connection right and so new things can it can come to your attention new things can blossom new things can sort of open up for the two of you or again if this is a relationship with yourself um, greater self-awareness whatever it may be you know tapping into more of what brings you joy and really running with that and allowing yourself to run with that all of these things can really come up under this energy it's incredibly beautiful um, so I would say definitely under this full moon, dream big because those those dreams and those wishes can absolutely come true. It's interesting because, you know, we often say like make a wish on a star. But for you all, I would say make a wish on this full moon because it really does have the potential to come true. It's just that that incredibly beautiful energy. Um, so yeah, and I would also say make a wish on the moon and be open to what comes in because a lot of times those wishes are granted, but the packaging looks different than what we envisioned it would look like. And, you know, our job is to open the gift and use it and we will figure out, you know, what the gift is eventually. But sometimes it looks different than what we anticipate and you wouldn't want to like, you know, overlook or miss out on something really beautiful just because the packaging looks different than what you thought it should. So 33s, I hope it's a beautiful full moon. I think it will be. Make sure to make a wish. Take care. Bye for now.